What's going on guys? Got another knife review here for you. Um, this is the custom Jeff Vandermeulen uh, mini intro. Uh, this is actually one of his first, um, I believe, mini intros that he put out for sale. Um, I just acquired this from the forums. Uh, I think by the time this gets put up on YouTube, it's going to be quite some time and I'll probably have sent this knife in um, for Jeff to do some work on. Um, but I'll touch upon some of the different uh, things that I've seen uh, on this knife and uh, I think I'm going to, yeah, again, I'm going to have Jeff kind of take care of me and, and have this knife kind of um, fixed up a little bit. But uh, overall, for a first knife, I mean, this knife is incredible. Um, this is a, it's a well-built, well-constructed knife, um, very handsome knife, this Bowie-style blade. Um, not sure what the steel is uh, on this particular um, on this particular mini intro, but um, yeah, uh, but yeah, you got titanium bolsters, you got titanium liners, titanium I believe titanium uh, backspacer, carbon fiber scales, and then a custom titanium uh, clip as well. You know, both sides are the same. There you got uh, Jeff's maker's mark that V. On the on that blade, so uh, Bob, you know, uh, good climbing, uh, the infamous Bob, you know, that you guys see on Tough, Th uh, Tough Thumbs channel, and you know, he sent a Vandermeulen and a Terzul, I'm not sorry, not Terzul, R.J. Martin Q36 to uh, Jim Skelton, and so uh, he, you know, kind of introduced me to Vandermeulen's work, uh, as well as Dave. Um, Blood of Patriots, uh, yeah, yeah. So uh, they really kind of got the word out on Jeff's work, and so uh, yeah. When I got a chance to get this blade, I was definitely uh, very quick to pull the trigger. Um, I have this piece of crap knife. Uh, <laughs> sorry, I'm, I'm really harsh about Boker Plus. Um, but this Jeremy Marsh knife, obviously the blade is, is very different from, um, from the Vandermeulen, but uh, you can see from some of the curves on the handle as well as the pocket clip, you know, the organic uh, pocket clip. I almost kind of think of it as like a demon tail uh, pocket clip or something. Um, but, uh, you know, Jeff Vandermeulen, uh, as I mentioned in this Boker Plus review, I'm not sure which one I'm going to upload first, but uh, Jeff Vandermeulen has a lot of uh, influence from Jeremy Marsh. So Jeremy Marsh, they live uh, close to, to one another, they're very good friends. And so um, uh, I believe Jeremy taught uh, Jeff how to you know, make knives and things like that. And Jeff uh, Vandermeulen's definitely uh, come into his own in terms of his um, quality of his knives. And you know he's got a number of variations of... Um, or n number of models of knives. The mini intro, I think, being the smallest at a 3.5 inch blade. So that's pretty, I mean, that's still pretty big. That's a, a good, you know, working EDC size. Um, and then he's got the intro, which is a pretty large blade. I think a five and a quarter, or I'm sorry, a four and a quarter inch blade. Um, he's got the barely legal, which is, I think, uh, just under four inches uh, blade. And I'm not sure if he had another uh, model yeah so but the mini intro in terms of size wise i think is actually pretty perfect you know so um no blade play well little yeah no blade play i think i was well there's a little bit of up and down right now if you force it uh no side to side whatsoever so you know i think when i send this in to jeff you'll definitely take care of all the you know little little issues that are on this knife um, it's got an internal stop pin um, mechanism designed for this knife, so no stop pins, no thumb studs uh, whatsoever. Um, obviously a titanium titanium liner lock on this one. So um, runs on, I believe, Teflon washers. I can't tell. Um, I can't tell exactly on here, but this I believe is a pre uh, IKBS uh, model. I'm going to clean out the uh, lock face really quick in here because there's quite a bit of oil and, and uh, it's pretty dirty. I, I just want to show 
So again, keep in mind that this is um, one of Jeff's first knives, but uh, I wanted I want you guys to see this knife and, and take it with a grain of salt um, with that understanding that it's one of his first knives. Um, and from what I've been hearing, his other stuff, his newer stuff out there is phenomenal. Um, so, but on this lock face, you see the very um, rough cutout right there. Um, but at the same time, that geometry is very good, locks up solid, you know, right now, when I'm not forcing it, there's no blade plate, no up and down whatsoever. Um, so the lockup on there is actually quite nice. Um, and then um, ergonomics on this knife as well are very comfortable. This rounded uh, CC, if you will, um, handle is extremely comfortable in the hand, fills up the grip. The pocket clip is very comfortable, no hot spot, like no hot spots whatsoever um, on this knife. And then again, you have this very nice Bowie style blade. Let me just really quickly do the size comparison. Just pulling out this Lambert here because of the carbon fiber bolst, you know, in the titanium bolsters. Standard size comparison against the large Sabenza. And then here's my other Bowie style blade, the CQC 13 from Emerson. So you kind of just see that uh, sweeping edge uh, or spine, if you will. So let me get into just a one, I, I think really just a one um, weird issue with this knife. And I don't know if that is standard for all Vandermulens or if it's, um, yeah, what it is. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. So, um, but again, I'm sending this in to Jeff to get it checked out um, and see what he does. And, and we'll see. Anyway. Look at that edge. From here all the way to here. And not sharp. It's I mean you can see the flat edge all the way pretty much up to here. I mean you can see the light reflecting off the flat of this. So essentially if I were to put my fingernail there right there you have from my fingernail to the tip, maybe this cutting edge. You know, maybe that's two inches, two and a half inches of cutting edge. Um, so I don't know what that's about. You know, when you close it, you can see how close that edge gets to the to the spine of the handle as well. So I mean, one, it's good that it's not sharpened here. You know, the bodega. Um, has it where you know this portion about like right there is not sharpened so when say the blade comes crashing down on your finger it won't cut you for here i mean i could have my thumb all the way down here and it won't cut me <laughs> so um again i'm not sure what that design feature was um you know if that's just a design feature for jeff's uh, knives or if um that was just, you know, a, a, a mere oversight for this particular knife, again, given that it's one of his first ones. So, um, does have a very large flipper as well. Um, almost as big, probably not as big as my Hobax, uh, the A10 and the A15. Um, but I think that this would flip out quite easily with a smaller flipper. Um, I'm definitely much more of a fan of small flippers, um, say like this Rexford. Um, ZT Rexford, uh, small, small flipper is very nice. Um, or if you look at, um, say like the Q36 from RJ Martin, it's got a very tiny flipper and it's more than adequate to get, you know, for it to flip out. This one flips out extremely fast, extremely smooth um, on those Teflon washers, which I think are Teflon washers. And it's also very quiet. Um, you know, when it goes in, it's almost like umnum's on quiet. You know, and when you when you flick it out, you know that you don't hear that clank of, you know, metal. Say like this one. You know, you get that metal to metal um, sound, and uh, you know, I know a lot of people like that. I don't know what's in here that causes it to be so soft. You know, and I think that's actually a, a pretty cool feature. 
Um, you know, all I think all Vandermeulens are kind of like that. You know, you don't get that authoritative snap, you know, and you don't necessarily have to um, in all your knives. So I think that's actually a pretty cool feature of the Vandermeulen, how, how soft it is. So, you know, there is something to be said about having that, that thwack, you know, when you're opening a flipper or, you know, when that, you know, that earthquake sound that you get when the Q36 opens, um, you know, no matter who's doing it, um, that's pretty, that's pretty cool too, <laughs> I gotta say. Um, so I'm, I'm dying to get my hands on a Q36 just to try it out and, and feel and hear that sound. But anyway, so, um, overall I, I say the Jeff Vandermeulen, um, is, is definitely up and coming maker. Um, really high quality materials, high quality build, you know, little tiny, you know, issues here. I mean, this could easily be sharpened down. Um, you know, maybe some materials taken off and whatnot. I, I think it actually would work just fine so that when you do close it, it's not going to rub against you either. So uh, I think that would be totally fine as well. So I'm going to send this one in to Jeff and, and see how he um, fixes this knife up. I'll have a follow-up um, review and impressions, um, yeah, when I get it back. All right, so uh, thanks, guys, for watching. Uh, let me know what you guys think of the Jeff Vandermeulen mini intro. And... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next vid. Take care. Bye.